Hello everyone, this is Gorax with the fifth team that I've made for the Abyssal Losses, which is the final boss in Season 3. This team is the first one able to do over 200 million damage. There's another variant of it with only 178 million, and this is the variant that I saved on the first day. On the second day, I managed to get this team upgraded thanks to the feedback from my viewers and people on my Discord as well. So I'll go over the team quickly. This team is obviously using an exclusive hero to get to 200 million damage and over you will need exclusive heroes for your uh, damage type. That there's only one team, I believe, that can do over 200 million without an exclusive t uh, hero and that's Rally. But we're gonna cover Shadow Team here using Ozul without an exclusive artifact. And I'll go over the equipment quickly and tell you what's happening here. So this is the equipment. We, we're using Ozul without the exclusive artifact. This artifact is on par with the exclusive artifact. It's a very strong artifact overall. Uh, I'm using Aerial set. I try, tried the Emperor set and I tried the Rhapsody set. This had the best re results mainly because I, this is my strongest set available. Also, extra crit rate is very, very good. Plus, we get the damage, uh, extra attack as well, which helps with auto casting on Daphne. Taldi with Witches remain to constantly apply defense penalty. Now, there's also two ways to play this. You can play Ozul with the gloves that reduce your ultimate recharge, which is the finality ad admonition. However, sadly, I don't really have a good pieces of them with crit damage. So I had to go for this and it works really well because Haldi is the guy who will constantly apply, which is remain thanks to how he works and how much uh, shadow energy we can regenerate with Asphalta's ultimate as well. Daphne with Ravatrix Roots. Uh, we want her to have as much attack as possible and we're using a Rhapsody set to um, basically reduce the downtime between her ultimates. So when she comes off Ozul, she will hit few auto attacks and then jump back onto Ozul. And we want to mitigate that time as she is very vulnerable at this time as she doesn't really receive healing and stuff when she poses as someone. So this is why Rhapsody is set here to ensure this happens as quick as possible. Our only healer um, in this team is Estella. After the changes to her, she's an amazing healer. If you have Torin, this will be even easier, but I don't think anyone else can do it beside Estella. We run our glass a lot of haste as well to make sure she's got a good rotation. And very important, since this, since this team doesn't have any buffs, I'm running resistance Moonlight Mantle and resistance Negative Rune to get 300 resistance. Maybe less is needed, but 300 is what I got here. And it helps to resist the ultimate down, which then transforms into us having this double cast during the rotation of the boss. I've noticed that the healing power is not required on this boss as beside the uh, rust exploding there's no huge burst of damage happening during the fight so as long as you have healing happening often it's all good and asphalta with di down pipe organ to boost four range heroes attack obviously estella is just you know not there with damage and finality admission now now asphalta is actually not even scrolled as i'm struggling with the scrolls as i expect everyone else is but she does the work, her passive is, is amazing, really boosts the damage on early, and she also does a very good split. So if you watch the video till the end, you will see how much damage she can do without any scrolls. Now, when it comes to the timing, as you can see, we're not timing any of the shadow heroes. We want, to them, we want them to constantly put the pressure on the boss. The only thing that we time is our Estella at 15 and a half and 15, basically to avoid all the healing mitigation on the boss, which is the fourth skill, I believe. And yeah, this team is really working really well. Now, if you struggle to stay alive with Estella or you don't have Asphalta, worry not, there is an option to get 178 million, probably more if you mean max, as this was the team I've done on the first day. And I'm going to use Zarlov here since I don't really need to uh, utilize double rotation on the healer because Zarlov also provides us with healing. 
I put in horn on Estella to constantly give an increased at well increased damage than to my uh, teammates. And 178 million. And as you can see, we are not even worrying at all when it comes to the rotation and casting. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. As always, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye.